welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited. Today we're going to do one of my favorite things in the world, and that is live swatching. If you're not familiar with live swatching, it's where I take brand new products and I swatch them all right here on my face. So I just got this in the mail from ColourPop Cosmetics. It's a brand new collection, you guys. Just know they do not sell it in this set. I know that would be so handy, and I wish they did. I'm sorry. I've seen a lot of people tweeting and asking on Instagram if there's any way they can purchase these sets, but it doesn't look like ColourPop's going to be selling them like this, so I'm sorry. You're going to have to purchase everything individually if you want everything from the collection. So these are the ColourPop New Ultra Satin Lips, okay? They're not the matte liquid lips like you guys are used to. These are a new satin formula. So what that means is they are not going to dry matte. They're not crepey. They're they're not cracky, they're not settly, they're not drying. I actually have one on right now with some lip gloss. They're just, they're really nice. They do transfer a little bit. They're definitely not transfer free. However, the color is a long wearing color. It stains the lips and it has, like I said, it has real just lasting power. The color does stay there. So the first lip we're gonna start with is called Magic Wand. This looks right up my alley, a nice peachy nude. I love it. It's just a really simple peachy nude. It's really gorgeous. They have three lip liners they recommend go with it. BFF, BFF2, and BFF3. My BFF2 is missing. I did a tutorial with it. It rolled off and I can't find it anywhere. So I'm sorry you guys. I don't know what happened to it, but it was the most nude one. But like I said, I just did a tutorial with it. So if you want to see what it looks like, I'll have that video linked down below. So I'll swatch BFF and BFF3 for you. So here we have BFF, which is a fair toned lip liner. The next one would be BFF2, which would be kind of the medium shade of these two lip liners. And then this one here, BFF3, is the deeper shade of the nudes. So it's literally lightest to deepest nudes, BFF, BFF2, and BFF. The next shade is called Echo Park, and this is the one I did a tutorial with the other day. It's described as a warm peachy nude. Here is Echo Park. Oh my gosh, I love this one. It's a warm peachy nude. It has so much nice pigment in it. If you're someone who feels really washed out and ghosty in nude lips, this one I feel like has just enough color. And for this lip, they recommend two lip liners, either BFF3, which is this deeper nude here, or they recommend Brink, which is this shade right here. Oh yeah, I really like Brink. I think Brink would go really well with this. It'd probably make it pop a little bit more, a little bit more juicy. So here we have BFF. BFF3 and Brink. The next shade is called Dopey and it's described as a dusty mauve. Oh my gosh, isn't Dopey beautiful you guys? <gasps> I love Dopey. And they recommend two lip liners for Dopey. So Dopey does have its own lip liner. ColourPop does such a good job of making lip liners for their liquid lip. I think Dopey matches so well. That's this one right here. But it's a nice rose too that you could wear anytime or a nice mauve. And then they also recommend Ellery, which is, oh my gosh, amazing. I bet that lip combo is fantastic. The next shade is called Lion King, and I always love raspberry tones. This is described as a saturated raspberry. Oh my gosh, I love, I love, I love raspberry lips. Aren't these beautiful? Now this one also has a matching lip liner in the shade Lion King, obviously, which is right there. Again, a gorgeous raspberry, but they also recommend that you try LRE with this lip which is the one that I swatched right here, this darker one. So a lot of options here. The next one's called London Fog. And for some reason, I'm like totally like so excited for this one. I also love colors like this. And London Fog is described as a cool toned blue red. So I guess that is how you would describe it. How come every time you come around my London, London Bridge wanna come down like London, 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 London. All right, let's put this on. I'm so excited. Yes. Mm, my lips are getting really pink. Pretty. Mm -hmm. I love how comfortable they are. You don't get that cracky, uncomfortable feeling. Mm, it feels like velvet. It feels yummy. This one also has a matching lip liner called London Fog, which is right there. They also recommend you use it with LRE again, which is this little baby right here. So very interesting that they like it with this dark lip liner as well. Makes me want to try all these different combinations, but this is just a great, great red. 
The next shade, oh my gosh, I'm so excited for it. This is called The Rabbit, and it looks like a super amazing fuchsia. It's described as a bright fuchsia with a subtle blue sheen, so I think that sounds freaking amazing. This is really pretty. I can definitely see that blue sheen in there. And ColourPop recommends two lip liners for this one. The first one is called I Heart This. So ColourPop recommends you use I Heart This, which is this lip liner here for this, or of course, Ellery again. It seems like Ellery is kind of like our universal like lip liner for all these shades. It probably just really intensifies. Something about this lip I just think is so cool. So I really love it. The next shade is a gorgeous purple and it is called Panda, which I love because it reminds me of my kitty Luka Buka. For some reason, another nickname we have for him is Panda. Like I would just go like, oh my gosh, my little panda bear. Like come here, little panda. Like he just looks like such a little bear, you know? <sighs> Anyway, <laughs> this is described as a deep pink violet. Oh my gosh, this is such a favorite right now. I am loving this. <sighs> Every time I throw on a purple lip, I'm obsessed with it, but I, for some reason, never go to reach for them. I'll probably go to reach for this one more often. And they recommend the lip liner Flawless for this lip, so let me swatch it for you. Ooh, and it is flawless. It is beautiful. I love lip liners this color, or just this color in general. <laughs> The next one I'm so excited for you guys. This is called Marshmallow and it's like a lavender gray described as a grayed out lavender though. So that makes sense. <laughs> so let's uh, check this out. I'm a little nervy nerve. Ooh. Ooh. This is fun. Probably not gonna wear this all over my lips, but definitely as an accent color, maybe in the middle to brighten. I freaking love lavender products, but they also tend to make your teeth look a little yellow, which is never a good thing. I'll probably use this more as like a layering lip. You can put it in the middle of another lip. It does have its own lip liner, which I believe is darker. Yeah, here is the Marshmallow lip liner. It's pretty close, but not too far away. And then they also recommend the leather lip liner, which is like a nice dark purple. Ooh, leather might be my favorite lip liner. Oh my God, that's beautiful. So yeah, just imagine these two mixed together. That's basically what Marshmallow and this lip liner. I'm so excited for this one. This next one is called Mess Around. And this is described as a mid-toned gray beige. And I'm obsessed with grayges and beiges and grayy beige. Oh, it like reminds me of pudding. <laughs> Oh my gosh, this is what I'm talking about. What, what, what? Isn't this beautiful? You guys, why am I obsessed? I am a fan. I am a fan of Mess Around. And they have two lip liners they suggest for Mess Around, okay? The first one is called Pitch, and I believe it's the darker of the two. Ooh, could be used as an eyeliner as well. So that is Pitch there. That would be really, really pretty, really interesting. The other one is called wet w-e-t like water wet and this one is definitely closer to the actual grayish beigey lip color that we have on right now so that's definitely the closest i love this one though i think this is beautiful the next one is petite four which could actually be the wrong name altogether you guys know i've never been good at pronouncing anything This color is described as a deep charcoal gray. I love it. It's just exactly what it sounds like. It's just a deep charcoal gray. Obviously, it's not going to be the most wearable, but if any of you like to play around with lip color and want to try something different, it's really nice that you can try it out with ColourPop Cosmetics because they're a lot more affordable price, you know? So you're not wasting $20 on one lip that you're probably not going to wear that much. So there's that. And this one does have a matching lip liner as well. And here is said lip liner. Again, just a nice gray. The next one is called, oh, it's called Two Lips. It's called Two Lips. It's a deepened plum brown. And this makes me think of a movie. I can't remember what the movie is, but there was a guy in it. His name was like Jimmy Tulips or something. And he was like, oh, he was like hired to kill this guy by this guy's dumb wife. But then he doesn't end up killing him for some reason. And he sends like tulips to people. I don't know. <laughs> With Chandler, Chandler Bing is in it from Friends. What is that movie, you guys? He's like a dentist and his wife wants to kill him, but it's it's a funny movie. It's not as scary. It, this doesn't matter. A deepened plum brown. Oh, yes. Yes, please. I 
I just made my lips entirely too big, but sometimes with lip colors like this, I just don't care. So I think this is seriously stunning. And they have two lip liners they recommend for this liquid lippy. First off, it does have its own two lips lip liner, so you can get its matching one. That's this one right here. Kind of see it compared to those. It's kind of like the in-between shade of these two with a little bit more plum in it. Very beautiful. But if you wanted something different, you could also use the shade Creature. <gasps> Everyone go order Creature Lip Liner the minute these go on sale, if it's not already on sale, because this is amazing. This might be the most amazing, like, burgundy red lip liner I've ever seen. It's like the color I've been looking for my whole life. I just want to play around. I just want to do a whole video of just like so many different lip concoctions now. I'm so excited. This next shade is called Frickin' Frack, which is funny. Frickin' Frack, and it is described as a rosy terracotta. I love terracotta tones, so I'm excited for this one. how beautiful is that? Just like I suspected, it is gorgeous. I feel like it made my eyes so much greener and just brighter. It's it's a beautiful, beautiful, flattering shade. really like it. It's almost a little 90s. It's really, really cute. It has its own matching lip liner as well. Oh, same great rosy terracotta shade. So right there is Frickin' Frack. If you wanted something a little bit more dramatic with this, they also recommend Dahlia lip liner, which I can assume is gonna be a darker one. Oh yeah. And then you have a Dahlia, which is like an even deeper terracotta there. Oh, look at all those colors. It's just so cool having all these colors on my hand. Why am I so entertained? The next liquid lip is called Tansy, and it is this one here. It's described as a medium yellow toned brown. Very intriguing. Beautiful is this? How different and just gorgeous is this? Oh my gosh, is this that squash color I was thinking about? Like I always think squash is a certain color and it's not this color, but I always think it's this color So I always describe it as a squash color. <laughs> oh, I love unique colors It's just like so exciting. No, it's not for everyone, but I think it could be. I think it's really gorgeous And for lip liner they recommend BFF 3 which is actually this guy right here So this is BFF 3 next to each other. Oh my god. I love tansy. You guys got to get tansy The next lip is called Cozy, which is described as a true orange red, love orange red, especially in the summertime, they look amazing. <gasps> yes, oh my gosh, this is everything. <laughs> Oh my gosh, my swatches are getting so bad, but this is everything. Yes, I really like it with this shirt too. Oh, by the way, the shirt's from Forever 21, but this is just a beautiful orange red. I cannot wait to wear this in the summertime, especially when we've got our tans going on, we've got our hair going on, we've got the glow going on. I'm gonna be looking fresh. And the lip liner they recommend for this one is called Click. Like, ain't nobody fresher than my Click. 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 Right there. Mm hmm. They're almost exact. It's like a blood orange, not a blood orange. Is it like a blood orange? I don't know. The next shade is called Lost. This is a warm toned brown red, which is interesting to me. I think it just looks really red. So I'm curious to see where the brown is in it and how it's gonna look on the lips. Oh, okay. A very sexy dark red. I love this, kind of like a Bordeaux. And they recommend Dahlia for this one, which I believe is this lip liner here. Yes, this one right here. So that's what you would wear with. Very pretty though, perfect for holiday time, all that. Very old Hollywood. The last shade is called Prim, and this is described as a dark blackened red. Ooh, yes. Ladies, you know we love these colors. This just could not have ended on a better note. I love this lip color. And, oh, I got Butterfingers. They recommend the lip liner Creature for this one, which I forget what it looks like, so I'm gonna draw it for you guys here again. Right there, Creature. They recommend this really dark one. Oh my God, yes. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Okay fam, so all in all my thoughts are I love them, I really really do. Bear in mind again that they are not transfer free, they will probably move around a little bit, but they do have 
staying power if you understand the difference. It feels so comfortable, no tackiness, no dryness. Um, the lip liners are just as great as normal. And I really loved all the shades of these. I thought they brought so many amazing shades. And also like, look at all these lip liner shades. Like it's hard to find really decent shaded lip liners. So I'm just, I'm so excited for this whole collection. So thank you ColourPop Cosmetics for sending this to me so I'm able to do my live swatching that we all love so much. Please let me know which colors are your favorite. What are you dying to get your hands on? I've heard these are coming out around either the 17th or the 18th. So stay tuned around then. I of course will let you guys know as soon as I see them up though too. I hope you guys enjoyed my swatches. Let me know what your thoughts are and I will see you again soon. Bye!